Right, um, basically today I'm just doing a little video on a couple of tubes I've got just to put it into perspective I've put a uh, double A battery on the top there these are GM, no sorry, GU81Ms that's obviously not in English which is why I didn't say GU they're pentodes um, I plan on using them in in the a vacuum tube tesla coil and take that off there so i don't knock it off and go breaking things um and basically just thought i'd show you um well just a little a test that things are going to work fine and all uh, is well with them so i thought i'd just show you one heating up um i've got to run them for 12 hours each um so that the getter can form on the plate. Um, I won't go into too much detail, it's boring now, it'll just take ages. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, I'm going to use this today. Uh, you probably see I've added a few extra bits to it. Um, I'll stick with timer on. And I get two lights come on. So it's on, or I can switch it over there and it only comes on when I'm holding the button. So as you can see. Right, so I'm going to put it onto timer and just turn, turn the timer up for a little bit. And basically what I've got is a rewound MOT. Um, to give out about the right amount of volts. Now the data sheet says that I don't know if you can see this. it needs between 11.6 and 13.4 but optimal is 12.6 um, volts that is and that's AC. Um, it may take about 10 to 11 amps current which is why I've used an MOT. Um, I do plan on using that one MOT to run both of the tubes. So anyway, I shall switch on with on the timer. I'll switch it to run on constant and with the button again, switch it on. Tube lights up. I've got to have this running for uh, 12 hours just like that constantly 12 hours um, as I said that's to get the getters the, the getter um, to go on the plate and I've also got this which obviously probably most of you already realise is a um, infrared temperature thing because that can't get above 350 degrees um, I'll keep it scanning for a little bit see it heat up a bit um, but these are normally self cooled um, but yeah anyway basically plan on using them for a vacuum tube does look a well. um, not really too much else to say at the moment the transformers give in uh, 12.97 volts and they only put the ampage they need and I'm sure the MOT can supply it um, wires aren't hot you can probably hear the hum um, but yeah anyway if anyone's got any uh, suggestions or anything um, please feel free to to add any suggestions I don't know on transformers on for the filaments or anything like that um, yeah, anything really just sort of we'll want to get him get them sorted so I can get this vacuum tube Tesla coil going um, well, I was quite happy today also to find out that that proves that they are actually originals they're not any of these as everyone likes to call them one hung low cheapy jobbies from China they are actually the real McCoy from Russia but I'm just doing another quick temperature test yeah I mean it's not get much higher but yeah 
well, I'm going to set it up without that lot. Um, run it for another 12 hours and see what happens. Hopefully in a few months time I should have a vacuum tube Tesla coil working. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And as I say, if anyone's got any suggestions or anything like that, how I can rewind that better, um, run them better, anything like that, anything you want to know, anything, feel free to ask, help, tell, whatever. Thanks for watching.